It happened a few years ago. I was hanging out at the local mall with a couple of my friends, just chatting, as usual. All my friends had social media accounts, like Facebook or Instagram, and they would focus on it sometimes when we were goofing around together. Drake, one of my friends, was saying that he met a girl from Facebook. He also told us that he really liked her and that he was going out with the girl that night. We joked with him that he was going to be going out with some 40-year-old man. Like, those kind of jokes, you know. A couple of hours later, we had to go back home. So we all left the mall. When I got back home, I went inside my room to watch some TV. It was almost midnight when I got a text from my friend saying, Hey, just finished the date. So I texted back, Was he pretty? He replied, Very funny. Jokes aside, my car broke down and I need you to pick me up. Then he sent me an address. Well, I'm not the kind of person who ignores when my friend needs a hand. So I asked my parents if I could take the car and they said yes. I grabbed my phone and texted again, on my way. Soon I got to the address he sent me and parked in the driveway. While I was going up the stairs, I kind of had a creepy feeling, as if I was being watched. Anyway, I rang the doorbell and heard someone say, come in. At first, I didn't recognize the voice. It was neither my friend's voice nor a female voice, so I just figured that it might be the girl's dad. Well, I was a bit surprised that the door was already open. But anyway, I walked in, and when I closed the door behind me, I saw this man watching TV with the girl and my friend. I said, hey, Drake. However, for some reason, he didn't respond. I had a strange feeling, so I slowly walked up to Drake, and I would never forget what I saw at that moment. The girl and my friend Drake were stabbed and they were already dead. They were put in a position in a way that it looked like they were sitting, so I thought they were just watching TV like that. I looked over at the man watching TV, and I saw that he was holding a bloody knife in one hand and my friend's phone in his other hand. He was smiling. The man turned his head toward me, stood up and said, Hello, young man. It's your turn. I tried to run out of the door, but because he was laughing so loudly, I was terrified and I couldn't move. But there was no choice. When he approached me, I abruptly kicked him, knocked him down and managed to run outside. Fortunately, he didn't chase after me, but I didn't care. I just got in my car and drove off straight to my home. As soon as I got home, I woke my parents and told them about what had happened. And of course, they contacted the police. The police arrived pretty fast and raided the house, but didn't find my friend, the girl, or even the man. And to this day, they still haven't found any clues. Now I'm grown up and I'm living on my own with my wife and newborn daughter. I always think about what would have happened to me if I was unable to run away that day. And my friend Drake, his face keeps coming up in my mind all the time since then.